Hey, it's Mike at Farming Smarter here. Just a quick update on what we've been up to with the Saving Soils project. Uh, we've got two projects here sponsored by uh, RBC and, uh, oh goodness, uh, the Weston Foundation. Uh, right now I'm standing in a fall rye plot that we've planted and we're gonna come and roller crimp this next week. And in the background, they've started strip tilling between some of our rows. So we've got uh, fall rye planted in early and late September. So we've got some different stages and we're gonna be planting uh, corn, beans and canola into this later next week. So right now we've gone and done a whole bunch of our preliminary data. The whole crew was out here this morning. We were doing plant heights. We took some biomass samples and some tissue samples for CN ratios. Uh, we've done some canopy crop coverage and right now we're just in getting things prepared for seeding. So we're going to start fire the disc up right away. We've sprayed some of the plots. We're going to disc those in and we're going to compare these different systems to see uh, what kind of advantages there are for, for soil carbon. And we're going to be looking at uh, what kind of things happen uh, when, we, when we go in and we, we plant in, in between these rows. Uh, the crops here will be planting behind me uh, within the next couple of days and then the plots that I'm standing in we still have yet to roller crimp so we'll be disking some of these and roller crimping some of them and then we'll be seeding them next week. Uh, you can see I'm in a nice tall fall rye plot. There's some beside me we planted some winter oats that didn't survive too well. Uh, it looks like a combination of maybe winter oats and wild oats in there. Uh, but you can see just how well this nice thick canopy keeps the weeds down. Uh, we're going to compare, we'll be doing a whole bunch of soil sampling next week as well to kind of quantify the amount of, of nutrients that are maybe removed and any alleliopathic effect that the, the fall rye can definitely have on the subsequent crop. And then also look at, uh, compare the, the cost benefit ratio of doing something like this uh, with say the, the carbon sequestration or the or the carbon benefits for for having this kind of cover crop so looking forward to getting in and getting some of that data rolling so, so we'll be here we'll be busy all hopefully not all the long weekend but we're going to be planting as much of this as we can and uh, we'll be back to you next week